Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are filming a video that I've never in my life filmed with and that you guys will probably ver be very interested because I've never talked about zodiac signs or like anything horoscope or zodiac sign-ish. Anything that has to do with signs, I guess. So I am basically doing my zodiac sign picks my makeup and i'm just gonna be reading i went ahead and read interesting information about aries because that's what i am i'm an aries and yeah i did my makeup with the colors that were assimilated to Aaron aries and the eye shape as well so i will be showing you guys all of that throughout the waist throughout the tutorial so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this keep in mind i started talking about horoscopes eventually you guys will notice that it, horoscopes and zodiac signs are completely different which i did look it up in the beginning so don't worry i eventually started reading more about zodiac signs and not horoscope signs so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and without further ado let's go ahead and get started like oh, she is semi ready you guys i always get criticized because i'm never wearing accessories even my mom she criticizes me i said you know what we're putting accessories today so first of all i've never filmed anything that has to do with zodiac let me just say that i don't think i've never done anything that has to do with zodiac i don't talk about it that much i used to be a very very like deep believer of zodiac signs and stuff like that but as of lately i haven't the reason i say it is because i I know that there are a lot of people that are like firm believers of that i am still kind of a believer whenever i read my zodiac like monthly or like daily signs it's insane how it goes with what's happened throughout the day like whether it's a daily one or on the month like a month one it's it's crazy i know so i figured why not do it because i do like to always hear and there like every probably week or every two weeks i search for like my daily horoscope that's what i mean is zodiac Zodiac and, uh, and horoscope, same thing? Let's see. Ooh, okay, so I think there is a difference. So I guess let's I was talking about horoscope, basically. I would usually every month read my daily horoscope type of thing. But I guess I think it's there's a difference. So I'm going to put Zodiac Aries because I am an Aries. And we're going to find out things uh, together and see if it's true or not. Hmm, compatibility. Libra and Leo? I want to know what's my husband my husband's birthday is in november let's see if we're compatible so no he's not a libra and then what's the other one a leo aren't leo like in july ish right oh, yes so that one i was right so he's not we're not compatible oh shit <laughs> should i worry anyways that probably has nothing to do with it by the way i set my eyes um with ColourPop no filter concealer i use for my brows as always elf i've been obsessed with it yes don't worry about this we're gonna be covering all that black stuff with foundation i actually saw this from kristen dominic and i saw that she made a video and she made the hair a hair outfit and makeup i'm only doing makeup if it's the same color i did kind of put this mainly because i'm going to be playing around with warm tones which is right up my alley no wonder i'm so into warm tones like aries is like the color palettes it's warm tones i'm gonna put a picture here i searched it up through google like the science palettes and it's like cream yellow orange like very vibrant red and like a regular like rosy red it looks like so it's right up my alley so i'm gonna be playing around with two palettes today the norvina palette this is the volume three and the mini palette from james charles and morphe i figured i would play around with this more because it, I, i've only used it once which was with the blue color the blue eyeshadow in my in my previous channel so on my previous channel on my previous youtube video where i did the blue so i'm using it i want to use it again and i want to play around with the orange this orange i have something in mind i kind of want to do like a halo kind of effect but then again let's see i did remember her searching for the sign palettes and she also she searched something like eyeshadows zodiac eye shape i think it was yeah it's kind of like something that i normally use it would be like a cut crease type of thing so i want to play try and see if i can play around with all of the colors like yellow and reds and like orange that's those are the colors that i want to use yeah like this one like orangey like after we do our eyes we'll read a little bit more because i have like more info in my computer i'm gonna start with yellow i'm gonna mix this one with the yellow that's e4 by the way it's called with the yellow from which is this one from the mini palette and i'm gonna start on my inner part and i'm gonna 
focus this yellow right here. I've heard rumors of people saying that Aries people are like dramatic and like they're one of the most crying people on earth. Like they, they're very emotional. And I will say I can relate. Sometimes I'm a little emotional like demas to a point when people think I'm being a drama queen. But then I get why, you know, I'm an Aries. <laughs> what can you say? What can you do? <laughs> This is C2, this one right here. Ooh, can you see it? Here it is. This red one. It has hints of like, it's like a satin matte finish, like a color. this color right here i'm not sure if i should reapply the yellow because i really want that yellow to be there like pop okay let's go ahead and do a cut crease and then i'm gonna apply c1 from the norvina palette <laughs> Are you seeing this glitter? to make sure that we're gucci i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face obviously that really doesn't have to do with the horoscope so i'm going to speed through that <laughs> Okay, so let's read. The element, fire. Yes, for sure. I have to admit, I am fire, all right? <laughs> I don't know anything about this, clearly. Quality, cardinal. What is cardinal? The cardinal quality. The word itself speaks of a quality that rules all others. Maybe this would be a bit of an overstatement since all qualities have their important role in their in the entire system. This is definitely quality that leads, the quality that leads the way and stands first open for the new and unexplored oh yes i like new things for sure i love trying new things i just love it cardinal quality represents all new beginnings and the energy of things that are just starting each sign of this quality has the ability to make a sharp turn and change their life and the life of others if you look around you it will become clear that everyone you know born only under one of these sun signs had or wants to have the opportunity for a deep change of direction and focus in life uh cardinal modality model modality are aries cancer libra and cancer Capricorn. That is very interesting. Sharp turn. I'm always up for a change. I love it. I always like to change things around my life. If that's what it means, I feel like my eye, like I got glass glue on inside of my eye because it got like clear for a second. Color red. I freaking love red. It's one of my all time favorite vibrant colors for sure. I have to say. Okay, I'm using this foundation. I haven't used this in a hot minute. Super safe, full coverage. And last time I used it, I was running out so hopefully i'm not running out right now okay let's read another part day i love tuesdays believe it or not i do wow it's like relating i've never read this by the way i swear like this is my first time reading this page this website if you guys i can link if you guys want i can link down the website so you can find out yours as well and know a little bit of information about yours i actually do love tuesdays i people find it very weird you know whenever i say this because they're like tuesdays like why tuesdays and i'm like i don't know i just love it i i find it that i'm very productive on tuesdays i get shit done faster on tuesdays so i love tuesdays i hate mondays <laughs> i love tuesdays I'm like super lazy on Monday and next thing you know next day I'm like super active also find myself very active on social media the most on Tuesdays <laughs> you guys I, I swear I'm not joking like this is for real ruler Mars 
I really don't know the like stuff and information about the planet so that I'm gonna have to like look it up eventually and just see. I already said compatibility. Lucky numbers, one, eight, and 17. Hmm. They're not my favorite, no, my favorite number, it's 12 and um, two. <gasps> 17 17 may 17 was the day that i became boyfriend with my husband like the day that i asked him did you i don't know if you guys know the story but i actually asked him he didn't ask me <laughs> and we were joking but he said yes so i low-key said okay we're officially dating don't tell him that i said that i was joking <laughs> and he'll probably take it back he'll be like what but yeah i was actually sitting down in my mother-in-law's couch like in her house and she wasn't there we were all alone yeah and little did you know we were like joking around and i knew with some friends that i have from college i used to hang out with one of them and a lot and he told me he used to talk to my boyfriend a lot and he told me oh um your boyfriend's planning to like ask you to be your girlfriend like do it formally like he wants to take you out and like do it in a formal kind of way and i was like no way and that was like two weeks before he told me that before i asked him like two weeks before and i couldn't freaking wait ever since i knew that i was like no i'm gonna have to make the move and just see if he'll say yes but you know just joking around so i did <laughs> And he did. He said yes. I was like, so do you want to be my boyfriend? And then I told him instantly. I saw his face and he was like, I think he got like surprised because of the way that I asked him, you know? Like, I think he's never had like one of his ex-girlfriends like ask him. And I'm pretty sure he was surprised because I kind of ruined all the plans that he had. He like was planning on getting me flowers and like a cute ring. But it had been four months and bitch, I wanted to close the deal. I didn't want no bitch, no hoe after his ass. So I was like, you're mine, bitch. Nobody else's. And he is for all those bitches that are out behind his ass. And you know, when he said yes, I was like shocked. I was like, I was joking. And he was like, you were? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I wasn't. So yeah, I don't think I've ever told this story. There you have it, there's my story. What a ho so yeah, 17. So maybe it is a lucky number for mine, like of mine. When I was in high school, I used to be so obsessed with horoscopes and I would read what would happen to me for that like month or for the day. And I would do stuff that had to do with that. And I would be like, oh my God, it's true. Or like stuff would happen to me sometimes i feel like i would do it on purpose just to believe it like if it told me wow you're gonna fall in love with someone today i'm gonna be going looking for the guy all over high school like are you gonna fall in love with me so what's next date oh if you guys didn't know by the way my birth date i was born in 1997 i was born in april 2nd so which makes me an aries of course strengths courageous I'm definitely very courageous. I'm determined for sure. Yep, that is a thing. Confident. I would say yes and no. I'm confident in some ways, but most of the times I would say I am pretty confident. Like I didn't used to be so when I was younger, but as of recently, I've been pretty confident. You know, I'm not super shy anymore. You know, when I'm in the crowd, I just don't care what people think. Enthusiastic. Ooh, like I am for sure very enthusiastic. I show like my emotions pretty obvious. If you guys know this, like I do not. If I'm excited, I'm excited, you know? Like I'm lit, like I'm happy. If I'm sad, then I'm sad. I really show you the feelings. Like I'm very, very enthusiastic. Optimistic, yeah. Sometimes I am, I would say. Honest, I'm very honest. Sometimes people think that I'm way too honest, but hey, it is what it is. You love me this way or you don't, goodbye. Sometimes I'm a little bit way too honest, I'll admit it, but I love that trait because you don't want me to lie to you, right? Um, Passionate, yes. I'm very passionate about things, for sure. But yeah, weaknesses. Impatient, I don't see that. I'm a very patient person. I don't think I've ever felt impatient about something. I think I'm very good with being patient. More weaknesses. Moody, I'm very, very moody for sure. Short tempered. Sometimes I lose my temper very quickly. Impulsive and aggressive. I'm very aggressive when it comes to, well, I'm not aggressive like I'll punch you, you know, like if I get into a fight, no. You would really, really need to get me pissed off for me to get in, get in a fight with me. However, I feel like I mean it in a way like I am very like malcriada when it comes to talking about when I get haters like commenting on shit and like ch judging me without knowing like information, you know, like judging a book by its cover or something. 
something like that. I feel like I come in a very offensive way and I try to, just because I try to defend myself. Not in a way like I'll be like, beat you up or something. Aries likes comfortable clothes. For sure, I love, love comfy clothes. Uh, taking on leadership roles, yes. I love that. I love being a leader. Physical challenges, hmm, I don't see that. And individual sports, like individual, like alone, like sports that I'm do it on my, on my own. I don't know, I've always been like a team kind of person. I love working on teams. If that's what it means, then you're wrong. <laughs> As the first sign in the zodiac, the presence of Aries always marks the beginning of something energetic and turbulent. Is it though? They're continuously looking for dynamic speed and competition. Sometimes, like competition, I really don't see it, but dynamic, yeah. I wanna see if it has something to do, like boredom. I get easily bored of something, like whether it's some kind of entertainment, whether it's in general, you know, like I get so hooked up in, in the beginning, but it literally could pass two weeks and I'm like done with it. You know, I'm, I don't mean like, like guys or something like that. Cause I know people sometimes it'd be like, I get easily bored with guys, you know, not not that type of way. I just mean with stuff, you know? This is so true, and my husband always calls me out for this. You'll rarely meet an Aries who isn't capable of finishing several things at once. You guys, I have a problem with multitasking. I have to do something, and I have to do more than one thing. I feel like I will get it done faster. For example, especially like, it relates to me a lot when it comes to using my phone. I go through social media, and I can be listening to your stories while I'm either doing doing dishes, cleaning up my kitchen, and cooking. I can be doing 10,000 things at the same time and watching your stories and you won't even know that. My husband sometimes says like it does help me to finish things faster, but sometimes I feel like it take way too long as well. So, but he's always calling me out because he's always like suelta el celular, no tienes que estar en las redes sociales mientras estás haciendo algo. And I feel like I can go scroll through my Insta stories while I'm getting shit done. Rarely afraid of trial and risk. Yes, naturally brave. Yes. Not when it comes to insects. <laughs> I'm not. Ugh, no. Uh, Iris is a fire sign with a need to take initiative when it comes to romance. <laughs> mm -hmm. When they fall in love, they will express their feelings to the person they are in love with. That is true. And sometimes, I don't know why, but I hate admitting it. I will give you a lot of love. You know, I, I can, I'm a needy person. But sometimes I get tired of it. Sometimes I'm like, dude, let me breathe. <laughs> And Aries is a passionate lover, mm -hmm. sometimes even an addict to pleasures of the flesh and sexual encounters. <laughs> Should I cut that part? I am though. <laughs> Just throw it out there. I am. I said it. I said what I said. I think I've never in my life said this, but I once got a, a very kind of like hateful. I would say it wasn't really that much. I didn't. I never. I wasn't to like a point where I blocked that girl. But I once had a hater. She told me, "Girl, like, what if kids are watching? You always have like this horny look." your husband like if you're gonna eat him so when she <laughs> told me that i was completely shocked and i kid you not i never talk about this type of things but when i got this i literally went on full-on defensive mode i was like listen bitch that's my normal look but sometimes i do see it i like i that's just how i am he's my husband if i want to look at him like that i will but not always i look at him that way do you guys think i was looking at him that way okay friends and family Ooh, that's gonna be interesting <laughs> With friends, social life of an Aries representative is always moving, warm, and filled with new encounters. Yep. They are tolerant of people they come in contact with, respectful of different personalities. I like real AF friends. I don't like friends that betray you or like talk shit behind your back. 
yes i've had friends like that it's one of the reasons why i'm not friends with them anymore but you know i have many reasons they often out many of them short for dishonesty and unclear intentions that is so true i don't like people who are not honest i hate like people that lie an aries often knows where they want to go at a young age what did i said in my previous video this is so true in challenging environments and enjoy their chosen path as managers policemen soldiers etc policemen and soldiers definitely not managers i kind of see it i kind of see it dating her means giving her all the attention she needs what did i say in the beginning of this video i need attention i'm a very needy person <laughs> should we do a montage now <laughs> finally this is the final look you guys honestly for sure it goes with the vibes of the colors let's put them again here so you guys can kind of compare them i for sure love this look so much now i'm gonna go take a few pics before this eyelash comes off because i feel like any minute it's gonna start giving me like full wonky vibes but honestly i really love it it was very interesting i'm still shocked i can tell i'm a very aries person you know what we should do? I should read like Aries. You know like those pictures that come out? Like Zodiac pictures. This is cute. Like fall outfits. I'm gonna put the picture here. That is so cute. I'm just gonna pick the first one because it feels like relative. First of all, jeans are my favorite. For sure. I love being in jeans. Food. Let's put food and see. Let's see. Aries Oreo ice cream? No, I love Oreo cookies, but not Oreo. This is not really Disney Parks food. Oh, yes. Yes. I love that. It's so good. Starbucks. That better be a Frappuccino because uh, uh, ca uh, caramel frappuccino because that's my favorite one. Anyways, I think I'm pretty much done with Googling this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know like more interesting videos and challenges that you guys want me to do. I did this because one, it was simple. Two, it has to do with makeup. And you guys know I love makeup. So I really love how this look ended and I hope you guys love it as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Turn the post notification bell on so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. Of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.